Maori phonology is typical for Polynesian languages, its phonetic inventory is one of the smallest in the world with considerable variation in realization. The Maori language retains the Proto Polynesian syllable structure, C, v, 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 with no closed syllables. The stress pattern is unpredictable, unlike many other Polynesian languages. Phonemes The sound system of Maori is conservative, it is close to the system the Proto-Central Eastern Polynesian language had. Most Maori dialects have ten consonant and five vowel phonemes. The most unstable phonemes are, f, and, despite the widely held belief that the Maori phonetic system is simple and straightforward, in reality the realization of Maori phonemes differs significantly, it depends on the speaker's age, the chosen register and other factors, the most frequent Maori phonemes are, a, 18%, i, 11, 3%, t, 9, 8%. In an average text, vowels make up slightly more than 60% of all the phonemes. Several combinations are extremely rare, fo, fu, also, wo, and, wu, can only be found in loanwords. The reason for the first two combinations to become rare is that asterisk f plus rounded vowel got merged with asterisk s greater than, h, the second pair was not attested in any reconstructions of the Proto-Polynesian language. Consonants <coughs> 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 An unusual feature of Maori is the lack of sibilance, the most frequently encountered type of fricative consonants, as well as the lack of j, which is the most widespread semivowel phoneme in world languages. Unvoiced phonemes, h, and fricative allophones of t, and k, are sporadically voiced in fast speech. Devoicing of sonorants has also been attested in the same environment. In loanwords, h affects surrounding vowels by making them more close. The realization of t and k can be palatalized or velarized t before i and u changes to an affricate t, especially if it occurs in the last syllable of the phrase. Starting from the 19th century, both t and k are increasingly aspirated. The article t can be pronounced as in unstressed environment. Sometimes, k, is voiced to, in unstressed syllables, the place of articulation of, h, is affected by the following vowel, hi, fish, is pronounced as, i, but in wa, friend, h, becomes labialist. Most speakers pronounce, f, as, f, but historically, dominated, the realizations, and, h, also occurred, see hashtag historical phonology. The, r, phoneme is most frequently realized as, sometimes it is pronounced as, in Carrero speech and L, according to 19th century data, it was common for the dialects of the South Island, but occurs everywhere. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. The number of phonemes is small, so their realization varies considerably. Phrase final vowels can be reduced. This is especially true for short vowels, but it happens to long ones as well in fast speech. Like in New Zealand English, the Maori phonemes, u, and, u, are closer to central vowels, that is, for Maori monophthongs there are minimal pairs differentiated by vowel length. Kiki armpit tilde kiki pi. Kaka New Zealand kaka tilde kaka stem. Koko tui tilde koko shovel. Kiki to speak tilde kiki to kick. Cuckoo New Zealand pigeon tilde cuckoo fear long vowels are pronounced for approximately twice as long as their short counterparts some linguists consider long vowels to be variants of the short ones while others count them separately the second approach is supported by the difference in quality between them the long vowels are more centralized a is realized as a is realized as beside monophthongs maori has many diphthong vowel phonemes Although any short vowel combinations are possible, researchers disagree on which combinations constitute diphthongs. Formant frequency analysis distinguish i, a, ow, o, o as diphthongs. Topic: <laughs> Phonotactics. Maori phonotactics is often described using a term mora, which in this context is a combination of a short vowel and a preceding consonant if present. Long vowels and diphthongs are counted as two moras. With these units it is easier to set up boundaries for reduplication, define allomorphs for some particles, and it also might be important to define the poetic meter of Maori poetry. 
Kaumatua elder. Four syllables, kau dot ma dot two dot a slash. Six moras, ka dot u dot ma dot a dot two dot a slash. For example, when the word ako to learn is reduplicated, the resulted word akoako give or take counsel has the first syllable stressed, while the reduplication of oho to wake up, ohuho to be awake, often has the second syllable stressed. The reason is that oa in the first example is a sequence of short vowels, while u forms a single syllable peak. Stress Most Polynesian languages stress the second to last mora of the word, but Maori stress is following many elaborate rules, which still remain not thoroughly understood. One of the rules requires assigning hierarchy to syllables, and if more than one syllable receives the highest rank, the first one gets stressed. Syllables with long vowels or geminate clusters Syllables with diphthongs Syllables with short vowels. In addition to word stress, Maori has phrasal stress that falls on the second to last mora. Ko te rangatira, o tene mare, the rangatira of this mare. Ko te mare, o tene rangatira, the mare of this rangatira. This rule can also be applied to words that were formed by adding productive passive and nominalization suffixes. Karanga call, greater than karanga tia, be called. Rangatira chief greater than rangatira tanga chiefdom in reduplicated words the first syllable of the repeated sequence has primary stress while the secondary stress falls on the first syllable of the second reduplication anivaniwa rainbow the first syllable of the prefix fuka to cause something is never stressed but if it is added to a word starting with a vowel and forms a diphthong or a long vowel the resulting syllable moves higher in the syllable hierarchy and might get stressed fukaputa to emerge to publish but fukako to teach loanwords from english do not follow the rules at all many researchers mention considerable variation in stress patterns Topic: Historical phonology. Reconstructions assume that Proto-Oceanic language had 23 consonant phonemes, and only 13 remained in Proto-Polynesian language. Unvoiced and voiced stop consonants that contrasted in Proto-Oceanic merged. Only two nasal consonants remained. Two more consonants disappeared completely, but at the same time, Proto-Polynesian acquired vowel length distinction. Maori retains all five Proto-Oceanic vowels. From a phonotactic standpoint, Proto-Polynesian lost consonant clusters and syllable final consonants, although their reflexes can still be found. The passive form of the word inu to drink is inumia, from asterisk inum plus ia. Proto-Polynesian asterisk and asterisk h disappeared in Maori, while asterisk l and asterisk r got merged into r. The disappearance of h and l t merger are typical innovations that can be found among the nuclear Polynesian languages, and the disappearance of is typical for Proto-Central Eastern Polynesian languages. NB, with is a very rare reflex of asterisk F that is attested in five words as asterisk FAF became, wa, generally speaking, the Proto-Polynesian asterisk F greater than, H, before labialist vowels, but is preserved as, F, initially before non-labialist vowels. Exceptions are likely reflecting that the merge of asterisk F and asterisk S took considerable time. The f tilde h variation is also seen in dialects asterisk fee greater than phi in western dialects of the north island but h e a in eastern dialects many homophones were formed due to the phonetic inventory shrinking for example the word tau suitable and the word tau season are stemming from proto polynesian asterisk tau and asterisk tau respectively Another consequence of this change is the frequent occurrence of long vowels, Proto-Polynesian asterisk kehi greater than k. Maori retains all the vowels Proto-Oceanic language had, but they underwent systematic changes. Proto-Polynesian asterisk u greater than, o, in the second syllable an innovation found in all nuclear Polynesian languages. Word initially, asterisk a greater than, o, a to heat each innovation. Sometimes asterisk a greater than, o, occurs in many Polynesian languages irregularly. One of the many examples of irregular changes that happened in Maori is Proto Polynesian asterisk lima hand greater than Maori, ria, although a related word asterisk lima five turned into rima in Maori. Another one is a change from Proto Eastern Polynesian asterisk anuanua rainbow greater than anuanua in Tahitian while becoming anivaniwa in Maori. Maori has many doublets like rao. 
Topic: Aro from Proto-Polynesian asterisk Lao and Puru, North Island. Pouaru, South Island. Many of them occur due to metathesis or the rearranging of sounds. In Maori's case metathesis switches adjacent vowels, consonants or syllables, in addition to that there exists a rare type of metathesis that involves sound features instead of segments. In Tenga tilde kenakina Adam's apple, the consonant's place of articulation changes while retaining nasality. In Inohi tilde anahi scales, the subject of metathesis is the vowel labialization, but not the vowel height. Some morphemes have allomorphs, for example, the prefix a t changes to a i if it is preceding a word that starts with t, a t poru, but a i tahu. The same can be observed for motu, island, motohora, motohora island. Maori has undergone several notable sound changes during the last 200 years, most likely under the influence of New Zealand English phonetic system. Wh changed from to f, stop consonants, p, t, k, acquired aspiration, and o, merged. Linguists studied several recordings of Maori and English speakers of different ages, that had been made in 1940s by the New Zealand Broadcasting Service, and concluded that the change indeed took place. As an example, the results for WH can be found below. 50% 18% F. 13% H. 20% The number of aspirated p, t, k, gradually increased. This change is also evident in recordings of speakers of different age. Recording from 1947, informant born in 1885 to 6% aspirated. Recording from 2001, informant born in 1934 to 49% aspirated. Recording from 2001, informant born in 1972 to 88% aspirated. Topic: Orthography. Topic: Regional variations. Although modern Maori has largely been standardized around the form which was primarily formerly found in the central North Island, historically regional variations did exist, one of which — Southern Maori — has been revived to a very limited extent. This dialect displays marked phonological variations, notably in the existence of apocope. Several consonants are also changed in this dialect, with k replacing — with replacing f — and l — used in place of r — in some areas. Comments Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>